So right now we're looking at uh, a project uh, of a track that we've done with uh, Matthews. Uh, it's called Reptilians. And I'm going to show you a little something about uh, some of the sounds that we've, uh, that we've used in there. Uh, the, the track sounded a little something like this, or the drop. Need the blood because they are oh dangerous vocals. They take human shape. They are um reptilians. Okay, so um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the bass sounds. There, uh, most of them have been made in FM8. Um, and there, it's a pretty basic technique, but I really like the, the sort of um, uh, human uh, character that they have. They, they, they're sort of like almost talking, but, but not in a modern talking kind of way. Um, so we have the very first instance of it playing um, this sound. And it's basically just a FM8, a couple of uh, operators. Um, it's basically just a, a sine wave being uh, frequency modulated. But the, the funny thing about it is that you make the, the sound by looping one of the uh, main, uh, main modulators. So um, let me see if I can show you so it's this waveform looping modulating the main waveform um, and the character of the track has been made by um, having a bunch of these uh, FM8 instances with slightly different um, loop ranges and slightly different processing uh, on the sounds so that you get a little bit of life in there. So um, let's see. The uh, 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 if I would recreate something similar like this would just go straight here. Have <laughs> Oops. So that will work. I still don't know how to manually s switch on or off the the loop function in within the within the envelope of FM8. I think we figured it out at some point, <laughs> but <laughs> just generally load a uh, looping pattern. I think it had something to do with the release being no. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Okay. So, I'm going to pick any waveform Okay. So this is already quite a similar kind of sound, but then um, just pick different, try different waveforms for the for the modulation and change the waveform up. Not so cool right now. Okay, so say this would be your bass sound, your basic bass sound, and then what I would always do here is fuck it up a little. Uh, we uh, we love the isotope plugins for that, 
uh, there's also a whole bunch of other things that you can use, but I really like uh, using trash uh, be because it's very hands-on and it's yeah, it's it's pretty basic. You split uh, the sound into three bands and then you put different distortions on these three bands. Um, I would generally uh, just try different different kinds of distortion for the different bands, but I think I already sort of know which ones I would want to use here. I don't want to fuck it up too much. And then what we've done for this particular sound in this track is have a little bit of short reverb before the distortion which you can then automate in time not so very cool right now by itself and then I think there was an EQ on every instance of it just to make sure that there was no muddy super low frequencies going on um, and then you just fiddle around with it <laughs> try try different different ones different sounds uh, and of course there are a lot of other sounds to complement all of this uh, let's see if I can solo all of the bass sounds so yeah, it's a combination of those FM8 sounds uh, and some audio slices, like for example this one, um, where we've just imported a sound that we've made before and just taken it out of its context. Uh, and use a little piece of it in this track. Uh, it's I can look up where the sound is originally from. Neuro contact. So we have this extensive library of monthly organized sounds that we've exported to use for uh, later projects, such as this one. So if I look for this specific sound. Okay, this is the sound. So, and it's been used in this project like this. Oh, sorry. Just that little bit of it. On top of that, we layered another sliced sound not this one i guess oh yes here it, here it is actually oh it's not not layered on top of that it's the only only thing we're not so crazy about in cubase is that you don't see the muted parts show up muted in your event it looks like it it's actually there um it's this sound. Yeah. So that's a little scream <laughs> layered on top of the bass sound. So that's uh, that's one way to, <laughs> to make a, a, a very random compilation of sounds sound like a true a tune. <laughs>